Hello all traders. Today is Monday, 30th of September 2024 and we're going to look at the trades that we will take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the daily chart, we see that we are close to the previous level of resistance and swing high. And by looking at one hour macro chart, we see that the price had some pullback and was fluctuating around the previous day close and low and retested these levels few times during the Asian and London session and by looking at 10 minute macro chart we see that the price after New York market opening started to go up on Nasdaq and S&P 500 and went down on Dow Jones so our plan of action for today is to wait for the price to conclude its reaction to the previous day close or low on Nasdaq and S&P 500 and also low on Dow Jones and see if the price further goes down take some sell short position on a downtrend channel that is gonna form and if this continues and the price goes and tests the previous level of support on the low of previous day and get rejected and the buyers come back then we take long positions when the price comes back to retest again the previous resistance levels so stay tuned and we're gonna update you with any trade that we're gonna record and discuss it in detail so it's 10.15 and the market had some pullback and established a downtrend channel on NASDAQ and S&P 500. So there's enough room for some quick sell short positions and we're waiting for some pullback for the price to go higher and retest the upper area of channel and then take sell short positions. So we're setting limit orders here. I just entered one position not to miss this trade and set other limit orders so we are adjusting the limit order to be filled and not miss this trade second order was filled on nasdaq so our position on s&p 500 on the upper area of channel was filled and we're going to close it in the middle of channel the sellers are not pushing the price strongly i may just close it manually if i don't see a strong selling pressure I just closed one Nasdaq position I'm gonna close this one also wait for another deeper pullback and then re-enter sell short position we are close to the previous level of support also that got rejected so that's reason this level doesn't break easily I said more limit orders on the upper area of channel and waiting to be filled so our position on S&P 500 was filled and I entered manually on Nasdaq and waiting for the target to be filled in the middle the S&P 500 was closed with profit so we're getting to the choppy area close to the previous level of support and the buyers may come back so when the buyers come back again and establish uptrend channel we will take some long positions again so we're back and it's 10 30 and we had a deep pullback and the buyers came back and pushed the price higher so now we're taking long positions with setup C and then T repeatedly. So our first position was filled on NASDAQ. We're waiting for the second one to be filled. It didn't fill, but we're gonna close this one with profit. Then wait again for another pullback or limit orders on Dow Jones and S&P 500 was not filled. We just entered one position manually in the middle of channel not to miss it. That one was closed with profit on NASDAQ. This pullback is good, so we're gonna re-enter again. One long position, set more positions for better average. But still, we don't have a deep pullback on Dow Jones and S&P 500. Now S&P 500 was filled and also our second position on Nasdaq was filled. One of the position was closed with profit. We're waiting for the next one. And this one also was closed with profit. So we're taking repeatedly long position here with setup T. Our 
for second position on Nasdaq was filled. We're gonna close the position. We're adjusting the stop loss because volatility is high. We just put it below the previous level of shadowish support. And Dow Jones doesn't give good pullback. So this position can be closed on NASDAQ. And the second position is ready to be closed. I adjusted the limit so I can get more positions because we are but the problem is we don't see a higher high and we're forming a triangle a complex pullback with high volatility so we're gonna close this and come back when the volatility comes down and market become more trendy because this is risky now so now it's close to the end of market I just came back and we see a breakout here and we're gonna take long positions repeatedly on this Eminis for Nasdaq I entered one manually not to miss this trade so I'm looking for the next one with better average so we got it filled now we can set our targets and one position close with profit the other one also shows good buying pressure and that one also was closed with profit so we're done for the day and let's look at the stats of these trades and the signals that were copied by copy trader to multiple apex trader funding accounts so as you see from the stats on this account we reached profit factor of 3.38 which is coming from 86 percent win rate 80 percent from the long positions taken mainly and 100% from sell short positions. The average win to loss ratio was 0.52. The largest winning trade was 265, and the largest losing trade was $254. So hope this trade is taken by the pan system for faster scalping is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.